Hi guys, it's Bella. Currently, there is no cell service or internet on the island, so we have decided to take our handy dandy map and head to Limestone Bay and hike to Black Garden Bay. Come along, why don't you? Now we are at Limestone Bay, ready to begin our hike. You're probably thinking, hmm, this video is going well so far, what can possibly go wrong? Well, what if I told you this hike was doomed from the start and there were red flags that pointed to its failure? Let's rewind a bit so I can show you where this hike all started going downhill. Currently, there is no cell service or internet on the island, so we have decided to take our handy dandy map. Currently, there is no cell service or internet on the island, so we have decided to take our handy dandy map. Red flag number one lack of research. So, basically, instead of staying indoors doing nothing all day, we decided to go hiking on a whim. It sounded like a great idea at the moment, but little did we know what nature had in store for us since we didn't do any research beforehand. And boy oh boy, guess who would never make that mistake again? Now that it's clear that our first red flag was our lack of research, let's move on to the second red flag. Map and head to Limestone Bay and hike to Black Garden Bay. The dandy map and head to Limestone Bay and hike to Black Garden Bay. Red flag number two. Ignoring the obvious. As mentioned, our intentions were to hike from one beach to the next. Now, can someone please Tell me why I didn't think we would literally be hiking on the edge of the island, even though it was pretty obvious from looking at the map. <sighs> I guess the Windward Point hike was still on my mind. Now that I've shared the red flags with you, let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. As mentioned in my previous video, my goal is to visit all the beaches in Anguilla. So number six on our list is located on Anguilla's northern shores, offering its visitors a breath of relaxation and seclusion is Limestone Bay. This beach features pale, feathery soft sands and blue jade waters, making it the perfect location for individuals who prefer to be away from the crowd.
black garden bay was so close yet so far. This was the moment I decided to throw in the towel and give up on this hike. I walked back to the car and drove over to Black Garden Bay. Have you ever had any hiking fails? What about this hike? Would you go on this hike if you had the chance? Let me know in the comment section below. Number seven on our list is located on Anguilla's Northern Shores, offering its visitors the perfect scenery and seclusion is Black Garden Bay. This hidden gem features white sands, a rocky coastline and sapphire blue waters, making it great for fishing or relaxing on the sand. You see that house right there, right there. That is the point where I decided I was done with this hike. I was done with this hike. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And hit the subscribe button for more Anguilla content. Bye.